Hi, this is Gary Gold and welcome to Voodoo Agent. Now, one of Spider-Man's superpowers is what he calls a spider sense, where his skin literally starts to tingle when he feels danger is imminent. Well, when people say they have a gut feeling, that's our spider sense. And it's not a metaphor, it's a real thing. Our gut is like a second brain. And I think it's really important in our industry to really, really develop your spider sense. Because when we do business, people say and do much different things than they're actually feeling. You know, someone might write an offer for 3-5 when they want to pay 4-2. People might say, you know, I don't want to spend any more than 3 million, or they would go to 5 million. They're not telling you this. When people write counter offers, they write a counter offer in order for you to get some sense to write somewhere and meet them in the middle. So there's all this kind of subliminal things going on. And I will tell you, when you really, really develop that gut feeling, you're usually right. I can't tell you how many times I've been driving down the street and say, I should call that guy I haven't talked to in two years. And he goes, God, funny you called. I mean, I, there's something I picked up on. Uh, I can't tell you how many times where I sensed that a client was unhappy for some reason. And lo and behold, he was. And I was able to, you know, talk him off the ledge. I can tell when a deal is about to fall apart for no tangible reason, but I can just feel it. And all these things, if you're feeling that and if it's developed and you don't have a lot of stuff, a lot of baggage in the background that's just making you neurotic, this is really, really important stuff to really develop and rely on. This is what the best agents do. Or they, I mean, I was talking to a guy, Drew, in my office yesterday, and he just said, that guy's not buying. He just knew it. Even though this guy said he was buying, he knew he wasn't buying. The more time you're in this business and the more you're sensitive to that, don't push it aside. Often people have this wishful thinking or they want to remain positive or they have all this other horseshit that they're talking about. But really being in tune with what people are saying is our business. No one comes in and says, yeah, I want to buy your house. Here's a check. Even if you write someone a, if you write someone a, full, million, a full price offer on someone's house, what's someone's first reaction? Well, maybe we should counter because they'll think that we actually would have taken less. So there's all the subliminal stuff that we really need to get good at. You know, often we play something out because we're not consciously, logically sure something's not going to work out, where weeks before we knew it wasn't going to work out. You know, I've gotten very, very good. My instincts are very, very good. I can see if a deal, a guy's saying he wants to buy and I know he's full of it. I can tell when someone says they want to sell and I know they really don't want to sell and there's other things going on. And the more I rely on my instincts and then take actions on that, the more successful I am. Because everything comes at a cost. You spend a lot of time, you know, maybe once in a blue moon you're wrong, but 10 times in a blue moon, you're right. You probably were better off working on higher likelihood clients. Here's my assignment for you. And it'll probably happen in the next 24 hours. The next time you get this gut feeling, either positive or negative, act on it. Just go for it. I mean, every decision we make may or may not work out. And maybe you do this and it's a mistake. But maybe you do this and it's not a mistake. So why don't you do that once or twice, see how it works out for you. Because the more you do this and you start, you, you create this confidence in yourself that's unbelievable when you're trusting your gut and it's paying off. Thank you and I'll see you in another episode.